guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm at one of my secret locations because guess what? We have the original hot hatch. This is a 2021 Volkswagen Golf GTI. This is it. This is the last year of the Mark 7. But before we dive into this, let's talk about what's going on. So it all goes back to 1983, if you could believe that. The original GTI was produced. Basically, Volkswagen took their Golf, which is that hatchback compact car, still true to the same form, and they added that little extra something something that makes it extra performance oriented. Even though years later, we're at 2021, the seventh generation, that's what Mark 7 means, the seventh generation, that same basic recipe, the special sauce is poured into the GTI. Now, what I love about it is that Volkswagen has figured out a way to bring versatility, practicality, and sports car-like handling into the small compact hatchback, calling it the hot hatch. And what's wonderful about a GTI is that you could see it from a mile away. You could be on another planet and see a Golf GTI and know what it is. It's that shape that has been more of an evolution rather than a revolution. Now, I know many of us are waiting for that Mark 8, more horsepower, increased design, increased technology, but is the Mark 7, should you be just pushing it aside? Have you been wanting on a hot hatch? Is this the one to get? So I wanna answer two questions with this review. Number one, should you be going out and getting a Mark 7, get it at a bargain basement price? Or should you wait for that Mark 8? But then on top of it, guess what? The great news is, hashtag save the manuals. We have a six-speed manual transmission in our GTI, should you go that manual route. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this hot hatch and find out. Right off the bat, like I said, the dimensions, very, very compact, but wait until we get to the interior, there's a ton of room. When we start at the front of the business, I love the headlight design, especially on the Mark 7. The signature daytime running lamps have a nice illumination to them, all LED lighting, and then what I thought was super smart, you see that red trim in there? That is signature to the GTI. They actually brought the trim from just the grill into the actual headlight housing. When we drop down, you have some flat black. I love the horizontal slots and you do have LED lighting in there. So it's not just a fake vent or something like that. You have your LED fog lamps. Love the way it extends out, but then it curves around into the bottom portion. You have this lower lip extension on each corner. All of this has been discovered to increase aerodynamic efficiency and give us some nice downforce, which is nice. As we come across the center stage, that Volkswagen badge, the people's car, this is the people's hot hatch. Look at the way they notch out the hood to go perfectly around the badging there. There's that GTI badge I was telling you about. It's always gonna be bright red just because our GTI is a bright red color. The badging in this red trim will stick to any GTI. So that's a signature piece of the puzzle when it comes to what makes a GTI a GTI. But you're gonna have a little bit of gloss black. All of this is fully functional. I'm even dig, I'm okay with the chrome. I'm digging the chrome. It goes nice with the Volkswagen badge. It's nothing too crazy. And then as you work your way down, same overall grill design. It's flat black to take a better beating and it's fully functional. And look at how they did that nice lower lip extension. Now remember, GTI is front wheel drive. If you need all wheel drive, there is the Golf R, which is all wheel drive. But let's go ahead, jump up onto this hood. What I love about German styling, super clean. Just a nice rise on each side, goes cleanly into the A pillar. You don't need anything else. If you want a bulge, you're gonna have to look somewhere else. You're not getting a bulge on the GTI, but hey, not everybody wants a bulge, but there are other brands out there to get your bulge on. Now, when we come around the bend, look at our wheel and tire setup. There's been many different adaptations of wheels for the GTI. This is an 18 inch wheel. I love the split spoke design, the nice machine aluminum. Look at how they took the red, the GTI red trim, put it around the Volkswagen badge there. And then remember, a couple years ago, they decided to take the brakes off of the Golf R, the calipers, and bring it to the GTI. Bright red with the GTI badging, you're getting larger rotors and a limited slip differential. The limited slip differential, especially on a front wheel drive car, is worth its weight in gold. And remember, if you want all-wheel drive, you could have it, but with the front-wheel drive, obviously it's gonna be lighter. But really nice wheel design, 18-inch wheel. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the overall size 
of this wheel, you're basically looking at, like I said, that 18 inches in diameter, 225 in the width, and then you have a 40 series sidewall. The great news about an 18 inch wheel, tires are gonna be cheaper. And there's a greater variety of tires that you could swap out if you don't like these Bridgestones. So that's the good news. Now into the fender, super clean. You have your signature GTI badge on the side with the bright red, just a little bit of chrome, but it pops out nicely. You're gonna get black mirror caps, turn singles with the built-in LED turn singles, nice and slim. I dig the way they went flat black around the window frames. The one thing I'm not digging is why did they not take the remaining black paint from the bucket of paint that they were using up front and cover this whole roof? So you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zonk it, and I'm not half zonking it, I'm doing a full zonk, even though it's just half the roof that isn't painted. You are gonna get a super size sunroof to let some of the sun's rays in. They did black out the shark fin antenna and the low roof spoiler, but we'll get more to that when we get to the back. You do have color match door handles, which are great, and the flat black side sill extension all the way to the rear tire, flares out, has a nice clean look. Even the way they do the door for the uh, fueler door here, it just has a nice overall shape, great proportions, and then when you get to the tail end of the business, I love the way they do their tail lights. really clean design. You have that black low roof spoiler with a gurney flap extension. So you see this extra piece, and I'm gonna have Lori kind of spin around and show how this is actually on top of the roof spoiler to give you that extra downforce. And the great news is it doesn't create a lot of drag. And then when we get to the tail end of the business, super duper clean. The only thing I wish they would figure out a way is to get rid of this wiper and tuck it up underneath that spoiler. But other than that, your badging is the actual handle to open up the door. So you don't have to worry about that. You do have the GTI badging, real clean, nothing else. And then as we drop all the way down, you're gonna get just a little bit of a flat black diffuser area with your exhaust, one exhaust pipe on each side, round cut, nice, bright, shiny chrome. My only zonk is there's this fake vent area, which I don't know why they had to do that. Why not just leave it smooth? It looks great the way it's kind of like a step diffuser, but it would have been nice to just have that nice and smooth. And like I said, you don't have a bulky handle like you find on some other hatchbacks. It's all right in the badging. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering our GTI? All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have one massive hydraulic hood strut underneath that hood tasteful engine cover i like the volkswagen badge you're looking at that two liter inline four turbocharged engine you're looking at 228 horsepower 258 pound feet of torque ours has a six-speed manual you can get that dsg which is a dct automatic transmission if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes zero to 60 is going to go by at around 5.8 seconds Quarter mile, 14.1 seconds at 101 miles an hour. Top speed is governed to 130 miles an hour. The great news is you're still gonna get good MPGs, 25 in the city, 33 on the highway. And like I said, you have that limited slip differential, which is gonna help get the power to the ground. But while we go ahead, let's fire up this Golf GTI and hear what it sounds like. Alright guys, we're inside this Golf GTI. Our particular one is the SE trim. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been wanting a hot hatch. You know, I got a couple kids, but I still want to go have fun in the twisty bits. I don't need all-wheel drive, but this one seems like a lot of fun, especially with the manual transmission. How much is this one? So the way that this one is optioned is right around $34,000. Let's see what you get for your money. To the door panels. I love the German simplistic styling. So you're gonna have this nice textured material up top with a little bit of silver. It's not faux carbon fiber, which I'm happy to report, but it looks better than just like gloss black. The armrest has some beautiful red contrast stitching. That's part of the GTI package, of course, being a GTI. And then the door pocket there is felt lined. So you're gonna have a nice large area to put a bottle of Mountain Dew, and you might be able to get a six inch cold cut combo Hold the pickles because you're going to get mustard all over the place. But the good news is you won't scratch your six inches. And nobody wants to get their six inches scratched. Now, when you get to the dash, soft touch material. I, like I said, I love this trim. 
hides the fingerprints, the silver. This has the Fender premium sound system. And then infotainment wise, we're getting that eight inch infotainment system screen. Now what's nice is, is that it is kind of driver focused a little bit. You have of course your Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We also remember have the DCC control. So you could go into your different car setups uh, with the status, tire pressure, all that. But what's even better is guess what? We have different modes. So I hit the mode button. We have normal, sport, custom, eco, and comfort. So when you go into the different modes, that's gonna adjust everything from the suspension to the throttle sensitivity, the steering, that's gonna allow you to really take full charge of what you wanna do with your Golf GTI. And then of course, we even have our navigation as well. So you're getting all that technology in this GTI, the way that it's trimmed out. Now, as you work your way down, you do have your dual climate control, which is great. Heated seats, no ventilated seats, but I'm okay without the ventilated seats. You could go Autobahn trim and that will bring those, but I like the dual climate control. The knobs feel a little on the cheap side, but like I said, the readouts and everything look great. You have a little bit of gloss black. Open up the door, what do we have? A nice cubby here. You could easily put two Twinkies and you have a USB-C charger port right there, which is real nice. And the great news is when you're not using it, it closes up perfectly. Your start stop button. And then this, remember when you were a kid and your parents said, if their door to their room is closed, knock. Well, that's because they were making the magic happen. This is exactly where you're gonna make the magic happen. It's a slick shifting, six speed manual transmission. I love the way they use a golf ball design for the shift knob, but look how beautiful it is. The brushed aluminum look, nice shift boot with the red stitching on it and then what i'll do is i'll put it in the reverse and the way that you do that is you push down and over and then there's our backup camera and guess what the backup camera is hidden underneath the volkswagen badge you don't have trajectory but the great news is it almost takes up all eight inches of the area which is great and then you take it out and then there's your park distance control which is another nice feature and we'll x that out real easily around the shifter you do have a couple dead buttons but nothing too crazy you have your 12 volt you have a good old-fashioned e-brake with some gloss black you could actually slide the armrest which is wonderful you do have your two cup holders here is your older style and there's a hair on me uh older style key fob the great news is you have that push button start but just in case you do have the key the switchblade key there's your buttons on the back easy to get to of course you got the red horn that makes a loud noise. Armrest, semi-soft, lift that up, maybe a baseball. If you're driving around with your Pete Rose signed baseball that your dad gave you, you might be able to keep it in there and there's some felt lining. But uh, other than that, not a ton of room. Seats though, I love the leather. The black, the red stitching makes it pop. Nice bolstering. And the way they did the design is really simple, but it looks great. Manual seat controls for the passenger. I have electric assist on the driver's side, but I love the bolstering. I'm six feet tall, even with the sunroof, which I have the shade open. Plenty of headroom in here, plenty of room overall. But why don't you come over to the business end? Because guess what? I got a flat bottom steering wheel with your name on it. All right, guys, here we are on the business side of things. You do have a nice aluminum sill plate with some red trim. My favorite part is right there. You get the three pedals, especially the happy pedal, that clutch pedal there all nice aluminum finish and a super sized dead pedal dead pedals remember are important if you haven't been listening they're good to brace yourself in the turns and of course rest your foot well away from the clutch do not rest your foot foot on the clutch when you're driving you're going to actually put pressure without knowing and burn out the clutch so don't do that put your foot on the dead pedal you do have the seat controls easy to get to lower lumbar feeling good and then steering wheel is tilting and telescoping. Love the, the shape, design, the red contrast stitching all the way around the flat bottom, the GTI badge, even the horn button is very tasteful. Flat black on the thumb buttons here. And then the other big you know, piece of the puzzle is the instrumentation. Now, no, it isn't full digital, but classy analog tech, analog speedometer, small digital display. You do have lane keep assist and all that good stuff but it's nice to just have the good old fashioned analog gauges, especially when you have the good old fashioned 
slick shifting six-speed manual transmission. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in that back seat because I'm telling you, your passenger is going to have a ton of room back there. All right, guys, back seat time in this GTI, and this is really where it beats the competition when it comes to the other hot hatches and performance compact cars. Plenty of headroom. I'm six feet tall, and no matter where I'm sitting in here, I feel really good. You have plenty of space for your legs, and look at how they take the leather all the way around the backs. Great size on the back of the seat pockets. And you know what's nice is you can put a back scratcher in there. You could put an abacus. I say leave a mirror back there. If you have a friend that maybe is a little sad or being hard on themselves, have them look at themselves in the mirror and, and repeat those words. I love myself. I love myself. And that'll cheer them up. And if not, then what you do is you take them down a twisty road and scare the hell out of them. That'll make them love themselves and love their lives a little bit more. But the great news is you do have the pockets. Rear AC is a nice addition. The only zonk, no connectivity. No 12 volt, no USB, and definitely no USB-C. I know this isn't the top Autobahn trim, but that would have been a nice touch. And even if they would have gave you two maybe German soup cans and a piece of string so you could pretend like you're talking to somebody. But the good news is, same great seat material, the red contrast stitching, and you have a wonderful armrest that even though the cup holders are the wrong direction, you got plenty of room for that thing that you're supposed to put there. No, not that thing. Get your mind out of the gutter. Your arm, it's an armrest. But while we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area and see, do you have a lot of space in this compact hot hatch? All right, guys, time to get into that hatchback, see what the purpose of a hatchback is all about. Like I showed you, it's hidden. The latch, you just lift up and look at all that space. Nice loading floor. With the seats up, you're looking at over 13 cubic feet of space, actually 13.4 cubic feet of space, you fold those seats down, you're now looking at 23 cubic feet of space. And what's wonderful is that, guess what? You just hit the switch on the tops, and I'm gonna spin around here, and down the seats go. Look at that, you even have your center armrest pass-through, nice loading floor. We lift this up, you got a spare, and you could actually adjust the level of the floor. So this really is the ultimate grocery getter in front wheel drive form to get that hot hatch performance and you're really getting it tenfold with this gti but if you're ready i'm ready let's go on throttle in our golf gti all right guys we're in the 2021 golf gti sport mode traction control off six speed manual if you're ready i'm ready on throttle. here we go yeah <laughs> this car is a pocket rocket yeah. <laughs> nice and balanced. Pulls all the way up to red line. Here we go. Really handles well. Brakes are good. So let's talk about this for a second. Front wheel drive. We are not running the stickiest of tires. So there was, I could feel the sidewall flexing a little bit and I could feel that I wasn't at optimum grip, but you know what? The chassis is so well balanced and developed. The front of the car was speaking with the back of the car. I was not pushing in the turns. I think if I wanted to carry a little bit more speed, it would have started to push, but still, with this being front wheel drive, obviously that limited slip diff, doing what it needs to do to get the power to the ground. I love the seats. The seats are great. The bolstering is, is spot on the money for everyday driving, but yet it holds you in place, snug as a bug in a rug. This steering wheel, not only is there great feedback coming to it from the front wheels, but also just it feels good to grip so you're gonna really like that gearbox I would like a little shorter throw you know when you when you turn up the wick and you and you get on throttle that's when you're starting to feel that it's not the quickest shifting transmission but each gate is clearly easy to get into 
Um, it just, I want the throws to be a little shorter and not, I feel like there's a little bit of a rubber feel to it, um, but it, it still behaves very nicely. And, and when you're not going too, on, too much on throttle, it feels perfectly fine, especially day to day. The brakes though, were really the highlight for me. I could really feel the difference when they upgraded the brakes and put the Golf R brakes on this thing um, because she stops really nicely, doesn't wallow all over the place, holds a nice line for sure. All right, guys, once again, first gear, I have traction control off, I'm gonna leave it in sport mode, and we're just gonna have some fun and really see how this is the original hot hatch and still a hot hatch, keep into that tradition, but uh, let's give it some on throttle here. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Smoke them if you got them in the promo drive car. <laughs> Here we go. Feels phenomenal for a front wheel drive car. This feels great. Look how balanced it is. Carry the speed. Here we go. Really, really nice. Super smooth. Just super smooth. And it just shows that you can have that everyday practicality and that use out of it. But when the road gets twisty, it, it, it's a ton of fun. It really is. And as you can see, you shut the traction control off, you could roast the tires. 228 horsepower to the front. <laughs> It really was spinning up to where the car was going a little sideways there. So uh, the fun factor is through the roof of this thing for sure. I'm going to go ahead and turn the traction control back on. And we are going to uh, try this again, right, guys. Here we go. On dry. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> nice old chirp. Chirping tire's a happy tire. Nice. It, it really holds a line very, very well. Here's where you see how the car is balanced. Just need some stickier tires. Yeah, you know, this thing would be even more fun, even at a higher level, just put some stickier tires on her. Uh, I could definitely feel the sidewall rolling over on the rim and just didn't have that optimum grip. But you know what? With the tr traction control on, it actually did help with that acceleration and help us get going. If you ever hear a little bit of a bang from first to second, that's a little bit of that wheel hop uh, that takes place sometimes and, and you really get it hard on a front wheel drive car when you're gaining that grip and then shifting and everything, but uh, it's a really complete package. And you can tell how this car is an evolution for sure. And all of that feedback through the years has been just well sorted into this vehicle. Really, really, they did a great job with the overall balance. I can't wait for the Mark 8 and to see all the changes. And then of course the Golf R, the new Golf R, I can't wait for that as well. But the sounds that you're hearing are pumped in uh, through the speakers and whatnot. So that kind of is a zonk, but you know, my brain doesn't know the difference. And definitely what you're feeling as you're going through the gears, as you're uh, going through the turns is, is definitely real and kind of balances all together nicely. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Chirping tire's a happy tire. <laughs> it's, it's one thing to take a car with not a lot of horsepower and just push it. And she pulls all the way to redline, I love that. Yeah! <laughs> Love this thing. Here we go. It is a ton. 
ton of fun, ton of fun. Yes, a front wheel drive car could be fun. And you know what? I always say you have extra, extra fun in a low horsepower car because you just, you wring its neck. And this car, the way it, it just goes all the way to Redline is fantastic. All right, guys, one more time. We're going to do this one from a roll. Second gear, right around 3,000 RPM on throttle. Here we go. This car is a ton of fun. Definitely does not disappoint. Everything inside the cabin is well sorted and getting to everything is very easy. I, I just can't wait to see where they take this. But we're gonna get back to our undisclosed location and wrap this up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another wonderful day with this Volkswagen Golf GTI. First of all, I wanna thank everybody over at Volkswagen for allowing Rady's rides access to this press fleet vehicle it really shows that guess what going the evolutionary route rather than revolutionary really produces a consistent product and this mark 7 checks off so many boxes when it comes to the versatility the practicality and of course tons of fun i'm excited just like you are for the mark 8 but i don't know there's just something still sweet about this mark 7 that puts a big old smile on your face and if you're going to do it do it the way that it was meant to be done. Get that six-speed transmission, road through your own gears, because guess what? It's not just about moving your body, it's about moving that soul. But if you wanna keep seeing these compact performance cars on Rady's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta get up to the queen of the camera, working it out here like a champ. We got people honking at us, we got fans wanting to, us to sign shirts and everything else, but you know what? She has not wavered one bit, so show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do, and just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.